All right, so turns out there are not very many atoms, uh, types of atoms that have the property that if you whack them with a neutron, there's a good possibility they'll split apart and the additional prop pro property that when they split apart, they'll release more than one neutron. Uh, basically, the only materials with which atom bombs have ever been made so far, uh, although I'll mention a couple of other materials that are it's at least conceivable you could, are highly enriched uranium and plutonium. So the uranium you dig up out of the ground is more than 99% the kind of uranium you don't want, uh, uranium-238, which uh, you can hit with a neutron and it won't split. It'll just uh, turn into plutonium. Okay, uh, so you need to figure out ways to separate out the 0.7%, that's the uranium-235 that you want, uh, and that turns out to be technically complicated to do. Thank goodness. I mean, if, there was, if it was easy to make bomb material and our species had figured out how to make nuclear bombs, you know, in the 1700s, um, <clears throat> that things could have been very different uh, for our species. Uh, 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 you know, it, it is actually an interesting accident of the laws of physics that it is possible but very difficult to make a nuclear bomb. Uh, it could easily have worked out that it was either impossible or extremely easy. And uh, either of those cases, our world would be significantly different than it is uh, today. Anyway, uh, plutonium, as I've mentioned, uh, basically you have to irradiate the uranium uh, so it absorbs some neutrons, and then you have to chemically separate out the plutonium from all the other yucky stuff that you make when you irradiate the uranium. And we'll hear more about that uh, another time. Uh, there are a few other isotopes, as I'll mention more in a moment. And none of these things occurs in any significant quantity in nature, and they're all Skipping hard to make. Uh, I, admit, I mentioned enrichment. I just we'll, we'll talk about that more another time. Okay. So one thing to remember is that the amounts of material involved are pretty small. 